Hi everybody, I'm Ryan Miller and this is IBN Sports OC Varsity Highlights. It is time to celebrate the holidays. And here in Orange County, we've already started opening presents. We've got high school football on Friday and on Saturday. It's CIF semi-final time and we've got you covered. We'll begin with Tustin and Villa Park. A slow start to the Southwest Division semifinal. We'll go late to the second quarter. Tustin threatening from the one. Cody Oxby gives it to Edward Tandy. He's in, and the Tillers lead it six to nothing. Late in the third, Villa Park in the red zone. Pro set behind Blair Royce. He gives it to who else but David Dolphin safe Tafuna. It's seven to six, Villa Park. Under three minutes left in the fourth, and the Tillers are in business. They give to Tyler Sudzinski. He's in, and Tustin would need to go for two to offset a missed point after. If it ain't broke, yep, hand it off to Sudzinski again, and he's given the Tillers a seven-point lead. Time expiring in the game, Diego goes over the Mendoza line, and Tustin advances. They'll face La Habra in the Southwest Championship. To Cerritos College, the semifinal between Trinity and Sierra League champs, and the first quarter, the Friars threatening first goal to go from the three. They give to Sean DeRosa and Servite's up 7-0. Alamany would answer right back, pitch to Cameron Washington, and we are tied at seven. The seesaw battle begins as Servite answers back. Cody Pittman takes it in from one, and the Friars are back on top. Now, of course, it's the Warriors' turn. Vernon Adams out of the shotgun, finds a wide open Zach Hernandez. He drops it. I'll spare you the drama. That is going to come back to haunt them. Warriors have to settle for the field goal. Jordan Jones in untouched. You know the Friars are going to get you at least one big special teams play, and they did not disappoint on Saturday. Servite doesn't exactly go for the jugular. They just fight fire with Fryer, and that Fryer is Malik Felton. Felton explodes down the sideline for 63 of his 122 yards on the night. Servite's up 21-7. Second half, Servite looking to put the game away. Pittman rolls out, finds Ainsley Johnson, and he takes it in for six. Friars lead 28-7. to seven. But in the fourth quarter, Alamany comes alive. Vernon Adams, couple of pump fakes, gets it to Jericho Richardson, who somehow holds on for the touchdown. It's 28-14. Servite to make it a three-possession game. Connor Loftus from 45, hits the crossbar, and the Warriors are still in it. Vernon Adams looking to bring Alamany back to within one score. You'll have to trust me here. He does it. And Servite, unfortunately for Alamany, would hold on defensively and win 28-21. The team many consider the best in Orange County. Mission Viejo takes on one of the most storied schools in Southern California, Modern Day. Diablos go to work first. It's Alex Bridgeford. Three receivers stacked to the right. One of them's wide open, right? It's Austin Ruland. He's got a Texas size hole in the zone. A 54 yard touchdown. Monarchs answer right back. Max Wittick under center at the 17 gives to Freddie Mora. Freddie's fast. Freddie's free. He's in. We're tied at seven. Second quarter. Monarchs threatening again. Wittick from the shotgun at the Diablos 27. Victor Blackwell spins away into the end zone. Modern Day leads 14-7. Mission Viejo would answer. Bridgeford rolls to find a wide open. Frank Randall, he's in for six. We're tied at 14. Second half, Bridgeford pitched to Dallas Kessman. A perfect reverse to Frank Randall. And Bridgeford with a great lead block gets him in. It's 21-14 mission. Diablos look to extend their lead in the third. Alex Bridgeford pump fake. And somebody forgot to cover Brian Keller. 28-14 mission. Diablos on a mission. They begin the fourth with this. Trey Madden, one-yard touchdown. The lead is 21. Monarchs supposed to go to the air, but luckily Max Widek is fairly comfortable there. Skinny post to Victor Blackwell. Blows for the score, and Modern Day is within 14. But Mission with an opportunity here to put it away. Austin Ruland in the end of the round. He's in. So are the Diablos into the Pac-5 championship. So at last, the CIF championship matchups are set. And as always, we've got you covered. I'm Ryan Miller, and we'll see you next time on IBN Sports OC Varsity Highlights.